I'm going to be doing a review of Stieg Larsson's The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Now, I've been wanting to read this book forever. Um, I really wanted to read it before I saw the movie, as I knew that both of them were really badly hyped up. So I wanted to see what the fuss was about. Let's get into it. Now, I found the plot to be quite confusing, so I'm going to read um, the synopsis from off of Goodreads, as I think that that one makes the most sense. Also, a little disclaimer. Um, this book was originally written in Swedish, so any of the names that I can't pronounce right, I'm really sorry if I'm pronouncing them wrong. Michael Blomqvist, a once respected financial journalist, watches his professional life rapidly crumble around him. Prospects appear bleak until an unexpected and unsettling offer to resurrect his name is extended by an old school titan of Swedish industry. The catch, and there's always a catch, is that Blomqvist must first spend a year res researching a mysterious disappearance that has remained unsolved for nearly four decades. With few other options, he accepts and enlists the help of investigator Lisbeth Salander, a misunderstood genius with a cash for authority issues. Now, to start off with in this book, um, the first about 50 to 100 pages it's full of financial and law jargon I found and you have to sort of glaze over that a little bit don't get put off by it if you read the book please don't get put off by it or you don't really need to understand what it's all about I just read it as in reading words I didn't actually understand what was actually going on it's the basis for the whole book but it isn't the be all and end all of the book once you get past that it starts to get really good I was hooked from the start to be honest even through the financial stuff I could not put it down as I found it so enthralling and the characters were amazing they were so complex and it seemed as though they'd been masterfully planned for ages as there was always something new about them that you found out and they were deep characters I mean I've come from reading a lot of young adult and I found that the characters in those kind of books are quite two-dimensional and they either you either love them or you hate them or they fall in love really easily or things like that and I found that the characters were actual people. Normal people are complex. Normal people have different emotions, have different sides to them. And I just found each and every character in this book to be absolutely wonderful and described so well. The two main characters, Michael and Lisbeth, you got to know them ridiculously well throughout the book and their weaknesses and what they like, what they don't like, what they are like as people, how they react around other people that what they like in a professional sense in compared to their personal sense etc but they were just wonderful characters and I loved them so much I'm just so glad that they were actually suspects for once as I said in my last video about across the universe I said that there weren't really many suspects in this book there were loads of suspects to choose from and throughout the book I found myself trying to figure out who it who could have actually done it if anyone at all we were given clues throughout the plot I was actually trying to figure out for myself leads from the clues. There was a time where I spent about five good minutes looking at the same page over and over again just as if I could relate it to anything in the book and see if I could relate it to anything in real life and it just felt so realistic. I felt as though I was there solving the puzzle at the same time as Michael and Lisbeth to be honest. It just grabbed you. It is all that you want from a crime novel. You want the suspects, you want the suspense, you want the thrills, you want the danger. It had everything, 100% everything. The only slight thing that disappointed me was the ending really, um, or the final resolve of what actually happened. Um, and when I say final resolve, I mean what actually happened in the end, the conclusion, because I obviously don't want to give too much away. Sometimes I found myself not knowing how they got to certain results and how they found out what they found out. I'm not quite sure whether it was just me glazing over the words or anything like that, but I just found that one minute they're in one place and another minute they're in another place, and I've no idea how they came to the conclusion that that's where they should be. And suddenly everything was becoming clear because of the fact that the book was amazingly complicated it just ended a little too simply for me it could have gone in so many different directions I'm not quite sure whether that's me just like trying to hype up the novel and make it be as action-packed as it was throughout the whole thing but it just seemed to sink a little bit but then it got brought back up again it's only a minor fault and I still highly 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 rate this book it's a well-paced fast-paced book and it is action-packed full of thrills and suspense and 
I am so excited to read the next book. I won't be reading it for a little while because I've got a lot of books to get through in the meantime, but I am so excited to read it. And I am going to give this book a five stars as it is amazing and you need to go read it now. If you don't read adult books, you need to start with this one at least. So thank you for watching this video and if you have any opinions or you can recommend me anything, then please let me know in the comments below and I will see you next time. Bye!